This video is about aggregating or summarizing data using dplyr. And the idea behind summarizing data is that it allows us to split the data in a data frame into groups based on the value in a column and then calculate some value for the combined data for that group. So for example, if we wanted to calculate the average weight of an individual uh, in each of the different species in our data set, we could do that by aggregating the data. The first step in this process is to group the table so that it knows what the groups are uh, to do the calculations on. And we do this using the function group by, G-R-O-U-P underscore B-Y, and that function's arguments are first the table we want to work on, and then second, one or more columns to group by. And so let's go ahead and group by species ID. So we'll give it the name of the table that we want to work on, the surveys table, and then the column to group by species ID. And if we run this code, we'll see as the output a sort of new kind of data frame. It's telling us up top it's called a tibble. This is a special kind of data frame that dplyr produces. And it's telling us that that tibble is grouped based on the species ID column and that there are 49 groups. These data frames also look a little different because they only print out the first 10 rows to the console, which is nice. We have less scrolling. Uh, and it tells us about the data types in each of the columns. But for most purposes, this will work just like an ordinary data frame. And by having groups, it will allow us to do the next step in summarizing the data. Let's go ahead and store this data frame so that we can use it in the next step. And we'll call it surveys underscore by underscore species, since it's surveys grouped by species, and then we'll assign the results of this group by to it using the assignment operator. And if we run this, we'll now see uh, that we've stored that table or tibble uh, as a variable so that we can use it. After grouping our data, the next step is to summarize it using the summarize function to calculate whatever value that we want for each group in that table. So let's start by counting the number of rows in each group. And we're going to do that because each row in this table represents one individual small mammal. And so by counting the rows, we'll get the number of individuals that have been captured for each species. And we do this using the function summarize. And the arguments for summarize are the table we want to summarize, and that needs to be a grouped table so that it can do the summary for each group. And then one additional argument for each thing that we want to calculate for each group. And those come in the form of a new column name that we want the results to be stored in, an equals sign, and then the calculation that we want to store in that new column. So in our case, we've already grouped the data into this table. And so this is the grouped table that we want to work with. So surveys by species, comma. And then we want to count the number of rows because that's the number of individuals. And so uh, we'll call this uh, abundance. That's another way that we describe the number of individuals. And I will spell it correctly with the N. So that's going to be the name of our new column. 
and then an equals sign, and then the calculation that we want to do. And to count the number of rows in a the table, there's a special function called n, or number, and it's a function, so it needs parentheses, but it doesn't have any arguments because it's going to apply to the whole table. And if we run this code, we can see uh, that we have a column with the species IDs in it and another column with the counts of how many individuals of that species uh, have been seen during the entire period of the study. We can also group by multiple columns. So let's say we wanted to count the number of individuals in each species on each plot. To do this, we need to go back to the group by step and group by more than one thing. So let's call this surveys by species plot to indicate that we're grouping by both of those. And then we're going to assign to that the results of the group underscore by function. Again, we're working with the surveys table. We still want to group by species ID, but now we also want to group by plot. So we'll add another comma and then plot underscore ID because that's the name of the plot column. We then run this to do the grouping. Now that we have our new data frame grouped by two columns, we go ahead and run our summarize command on that data frame. So uh, summarize, parentheses, surveys by species by plot. And then we do the same calculation we did before. So abundance equals n and parentheses. And it looks like I've made an error. Surveys by species by plot not found. Ah, I called this surveys by species plot. I added an extra by here, so we'll go ahead and take that out and then rerun. And we can't totally see what's going on here uh, because we've only got 10 rows. So let's store this in a variable called species plot counts. And then run it. And then we can come over here and look at what actually happened above. We have some null species IDs, which we don't really care about. But then we can see that for each species ID and each plot, so this is species AB on plot nine, there were nine individuals. And it's done this for every single species and every single plot. We've got this nice summary that's ready for analysis. And we're not restricted to just counting things. In fact, we can do any calculation uh, that involves functions that take a vector and return a single value. And so let's go back to the example that I mentioned at the beginning, where we want to calculate the average weight of each species on at the site. And we can do that uh, using summarize. So let's go ahead and create a variable to store this in. We'll call it species weight. And then to that, we'll si assign the uh, output from summarize. We're just grouping by species, so we'll go back to the surveys by species variable that we created. Surveys underscore by underscore species. And then now to calculate the average weight, we need, again, the name of the column that we're going to create. So we'll call it average weight, average under AVG underscore weight equals and then the calculation that we want to do. I'm going to move this down to the next line so we can see it clearly. And so we can now say the mean of weight. And so what this will do is for each group, which in this case 
is a species. It will take the weight column, calculate its average, and store it uh, in a column named average weight. And if we run this, we can then go over here and look at the species weight table that results. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we have each species ID, but all of our average weights, except for this one, except for a few, are null. Why do you think that might be? Any ideas? If your answer was that when we take a mean, if there are any null values, we get back a null value as the result, then you're right. And if you remember from a couple of weeks ago, we can remove those nulls before calculating the mean by adding an optional argument to mean. And so we put a comma and then na dot rm equals true, which tells it to remove all of the null values before calculating the mean. And so if we rerun this and go back to the species weight table, we'll see that many more of our species have average masses now. There's still some NANs sticking around, and those are there for species that have never been weighed. And so these are things like birds that get into traps, uh, snakes that get into traps, uh, certain kinds of mammals uh, that we don't weigh at the site. And so those are, are just, there's no data there to calculate a mean for. And if you wanted to get rid of those, then we could use our filter function that we learned about last week. And so we could filter the species underscore weight table. And then to remove null values, if you remember, it's not is dot na parentheses, and then the column that we want to get rid of null values in. Ah, and I made a mistake here because this says weight. But if we look at the species weight column, we'll see that I called that column average weight. And so anytime again it says object not found, you've probably misnamed something. So let's go ahead and rerun. And there we go. Now we only have species that have been weighed at least once. And we have their average weights. So that's the basic idea behind how to aggregate or summarize data using dplyr. The first step is to use the group by function to tell dplyr what the groups we want to split the data into are, and that can be the values from one or more columns. The second step is to use the summarize function, which involves providing the name of the column you want to create, an equal sign, and then any calculation uh, that can take a vector and return a single value to do that calculation. Recording check, recording check, recording check, recording check.